Yo, what is up, YouTube and Twitch? This is your boy, Captain Sly. Okay, so what we are doing today is we're going to play another series for uh, Killing Floor 2. This time I want to try out a new class. Uh, today I just want to show you guys a few things. I'm going to make this game a little bit shorter than usual. But basically we're going to try another solo offline kind of game, you know, play by myself. Basically, I want to show you something called choke points. So we're going to choose the map today. we choose survival. The map we're going to choose is actually called Newt. Now, the reason why I want to choose this map Newt is because I want to show you a thing called choke points. In the game Killing Floor 2, there are several areas within a map where you can force enemies to spawn and they'll only spawn in this area. Now, this also works well in multiplayer, but I want to use Nuke as a good example of what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to start the game. So we got survival, map is Nuke, difficulty is normal for now, a short wave. Uh, the, the class that I'll be choosing is Firebug, and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's go solo. Da -da 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 -da. Launch game. Okay, so Killing Floor is 2. Alright, so, let this game load as it normally would. Okay. The other thing I want to discuss about Killing Floor 2 is that, again, it's one of those games where you, you really got to be introduced to it. You can't find it on, let's say, mainstream. You kind of have to ask a friend to tell you, hey, what's the newest first-person shooter game? And, you know, again, this game was recommended to me by Macrob. I've never heard of it before, but, you know, after searching for Killing Floor 1, I kind of liked it, but then I kind of wanted to know if there was a sequel. So anyway, we found the sequel, so we found Killing Floors 2. Again, here's my avatar, just like in Series 1 of Killing Floors, which was the introduction, introductory video. I'm going to choose my guy here, this guy who looks like Hunk from Resident Evil series. So my perk is, again, Firebug. Now, just to let you know, you can configure certain capabilities here. So my Firebug is level 13. I can increase damage with fire weapons at 35%, or I can increase fuel tank capacity, which I personally believe suits me more. Over here, I can do perk weapons burn effects last 150% longer, increasing damage over time. Not exactly what I want. Ground fire is what you need, because when the enemies start to stack on you, you want to burn the ground, especially for this class. I'll show you why. Okay, let's let's ready up and let's play. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, so this is basically a flamethrower. Now I'm going to introduce to you a little choke point here in this map. What's the bloody world come to? Okay, so I'm going to run, run, run. Enemies are about to show up pretty soon, but I want them to be forced to spawn in this one particular area. Okay, they should be coming, they should be coming. Ooh, I got a nice little gun over there. I got dual pistol wheel, 9mm, that's great. What's the name of this gun? Kulk and Burn, right there. That's where I want... Incoming! Is that where I want? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I want to force all respawns of the Zeds to appear right in this area, it's almost literally at the top of the map, right here. Oh, oh, here we go. So I'm gonna burn the ground, see how the fire turns blue? And bloody stay this is how dead. I basically keep enemies at bay, in a sense. You now, something. you're noticing that they're kind of... You've dented their numbers, but they're kind of just left. staggering because I'm burning the ground. I'm not burning them, I'm burning the ground. You say something. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh, snap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Bash him, bash him. Oh, snap! I should have washed my back. That was the first rule about this game. Always watch your back. I can't see anything right now. Okay, oh, oh, snap. That guy came out of nowhere. Okay, always burn the ground. See how they're stacking up on me like that? Firebug is literally the lowest, uh, so not the lowest, but the, uh, kind of a weak class until you get to the higher numbers. But still, because you're a fire class, and I have the perk. Perfect. There we go. Pod is open again. And you saw my Let's get you perks in the beginning. Okay, let me go to the pod. Right now, you're you actually burn up bloody, a lot of ammo in, in this class, but that's fine. Bonjour. That's what you want. Come and get your tools of trade. 
992, remember this is a four wave, see four waves, wave one out of four, so I'm going into the second wave right now. So right now what I want to do is I want to get this incendiary trench gun. I actually want to get the dual split fires to be honest with you. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's go autofill. Okay, I should be alright. Now. <clears throat> okay, let me reload this on this place needs to redecorate. Okay, about 30, 35 seconds left. 9 millimeters. Now the 9 millimeter guns, you cannot sell Final both choices, weapons. People. You will only have Enemies at on least one. This is your last weapon. Now, I'm going to show you this thing called the dual split fires, basically. What I like... What I like about this is that um, you can get enemies from long ranges. It's kind of like, if you remember Resident Evil, when you chose, let's say, Jill Hurry Valentine, or getting closer. better yet, Resident Evil 2, you get the incendiary grenade with, um, what's her name, Claire Redfield. Basically, you get this grenade launcher, and you get to choose, let's say, incendiary Mozart rounds. On the scope. Here's what I mean. Back to it, I'm going to force the enemies to come out of this area right here. Right here, see? So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, let's say... Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to create. You dead. kind of wanted to create like this... Like this uh, little campfire. You say something. A decent because beginning. fire damage spreads let's call that like your wildfire. Basically, by using the split dead. fires, I can create like this that cool fire most. here, doing some you amazing damage. Huh? Let me switch it up here, and this guy is going to annoy the crap out of me. That's nearly all of them. Oh, crap. Alright, perfect. That's exactly what I want. So, basically, when we force the enemies to come from this choke point, we have this ability to make the game last a little bit longer than usual, or not a little longer, a little shorter. Actually, a lot shorter. I think it was less than a minute. So anyway, let me go back to this next pod. What I want to purchase next is the trench gun. Let's get okay. the job done and get topside. Now, I don't want to get weapons outside don't my class. Okay, I can't get it yet. 650? Oh, it's only because of my weight. Okay, I guess I have to get rid of, rid of them. If I get rid of one of these guys... There we go! Incendiary, perfect. Now, do I want the flamethrower microwave gun later on? No. Stick with these guys only. You have incendiary trench gun, culk and burn, and dual split fires. The incendiary trench well, gun Zed's is what you're way. looking for. Start to wrap things 30 up, seconds left. Auto feels fine. Okay, cool. Let me reload all my weapons. This gun will save your life. Let me okay. Yeah. Load that. Oh, it's already reloaded. This guy. Yep. Reloaded. And then cock and burn. Last chance. I have to power down the pod. Again, we want to go back to our choke point. Now, when we're playing solo or multiplayer, choke points. If you know your map really well, choke points will really help you go in the game. Go make a difference. So I know that these guys will pop out here again, right here. See where I'm aiming at? They're going to pop out right here. That's what we want. Ah, but in this oh, case, they did it. So right now, Flame as Spitfire on. class, I want to always hit the ground. Now, this guy right here, incendiary trash gun, which is BAM! One shot. Very powerful. Extremely powerful. Now, see those guys right there? They're coming present, at me. But oh, there's cloak. Shoot him on the ground. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot your uh, rounds on the ground. But many Zeds remain. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right here. Shoot him on the ground. Shoot him on the ground. They, get, they burn. See right there. I can shoot their body all I want, but honestly, when they start to stack up, you want to shoot the ground. up good. Okay. So they're gonna stack up on me. Oh snap! Okay, switching over to this guy right here. Culkin burn, see? Burn the ground, burn the ground, just burn the ground. Create that... Bastard. You have to create distance burn between you and shit. the enemy. Okay? Great thing I got fast That's reload for this character. Found. Okay, that guy's gonna really cause me problems. Okay, great thing about this gun is that... That's it staggers worse. enemy. Look, you dead. Just keep in mind a couple things, though. <gasps> it, oh, snap! Oh, crap! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! There we go. Strike! Keep it up. Okay. When you're done, uh, I can reopen crap. the trader pod. Rule number one just like blew out the window for me. Where that came from? You say so. Okay. I love the incendiary gun for this. Great thing about 
Oh, snap. Snap, 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 snap. Not good, not good. Okay, you gotta burn this guy. The incendiary gun Get will save your life. For the incendiary gun, let me repeat that. The incendiary gun will That's save correct. your life. Oof. You okay. took it down hard. Because of your class... Because of your class... Fire basically staggers enemies back. And that's a good thing because that gives you distance between them attacking you Bonjour. and uh, you trying Come to survive. And get your tools of trade. Okay, 2315. No, I'm good here. Autofill. Perfect. Okay, I got 41 seconds. Now, my weight right now is 14 out of 15. I really can't get much. Uh, do I want to stick with the dual split fires? Uh, yes, actually. There are Zeds on the scope. Trust me, a lot Must of these... Must close the uh, pod very soon. For the Firebird class, Kalk and Burn, Dual Split Fires, and Sinew Trench, you're pretty much good. However, when you get to higher levels, you get other bonuses in which you want to utilize other guns. But right now, my Dive class is super up. low. Viet. These three guns and the 9mm is fine. Okay, so moving on. Here we go. So Time's up. Oh, crap. Go kill okay. some Zeds. Ah, okay, get up, back up, get up, back up. I'm sweating like a bloody racehorse. Alright, so we want to go back to our choke point again if we can make it there. It's right there. Okay, perfect. Oh shit, I should have reloaded. Shoot the ground, shoot the ground, shoot the ground. See? You say something. Okay, these guys with dual knives, nothing. You cold? See? Let me help. Take them down. Take them down at the feet, basically. It's That's the great thing about the fire, the, the, the firebug class. You've dented when their numbers. But you can they are literally left. cause them to stagger back and a bit. Stay See that guy Another right there? He's staggering. He's staggering. Just shoot him at the feet. You shoot dead. him at the feet. Dual split fires are useful for this case because you got distance. You want and distance, bloody, especially for a weak guy. Bacon, mate. Huh? Okay, down. Burn, Can't get to the Kevlar. You say okay. something. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. We got a siren. Finish the last ones off, so I can open oh, the trailer pod for you. Oh snap! Let's see you. if I can do it. That said's roasted. Okay, okay. Okay, let's reload. This is what I was talking about. When you, unlike the uh, the medic, damn thing off. you have to reload guns bullet by bullet for certain guns like this. Damn, That's why damn. I. Oh snap! Where, 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 where? Watch it, Siren! Okay. Burn faster. That's why dead. I like this class because you can get some distance. Oh, that guy again! Ah! Ah! Hold on, let's switch over. Got two of these guys on my ass. It's fine. I'm taking heads today. Oh snap! Flash You dead! Okay, he's down. He's down. He's You're down. He's on cut, fire. Mate. Take him out. Take him out. Oh my god. Okay, I survived that one. Okay, I should be going into Game boss time. battle. This guy's easy. Watch this man. Spend wise, oh, he's down. Please. You've got a real fight ahead. Okay, now I got all this weapons, all this ammo. You're a real survivor. Do you think Good I can still you. survive? with these low end weapons? The answer is I, I can. But the Spitfire will actually come in back. really, Don't really handy. Okay, uh, Sydney Trench will have to keep that Culkin burn. Actually what we can do is we can keep it at 5. We still have 5 and we only get 6 left. Problem is we don't have space for that. So right now these guns are fine. I have to utilize Molotov co Cocktail pretty soon. Anyway, now because it's a boss battle, I'm really hoping it's Patriarch. If not, it's going to be the other guy, Final the, uh, the choices, doctor. People. With this class, I might die. But anyway, you haven't seen me died yet, but you know, I'm just human. I will die. I make mistakes. That's cool. So anyway, what we want to do is we want to get into open, uh, open ground. See, this is open ground right here. This is what we want. So anyway. We're gonna let the countdown time go. Make sure everything's reloaded because once this thing starts, you know it's gonna be very hard for us to do anything else. Pod okay, closed. Here we go. Go make a difference. Okay, I think that was a few gun. gun. Oh, thank God, it's patriarch. Perfect. This is what we want. So 
Patriarch. Okay, we're going to Let's go to Hulkenberg. With us, but Shit. Oh, snap! Oh, he was right there! Okay, basically, just burn the ground. Watch his health bar. Watch his health bar. It ain't that great. It's gonna slow him down a bit. Actually, he loses a lot of health! Oh man, here we go, here we go. Just burn the ground, just burn the ground. That's all we gotta do, is burn the ground. Burn the ground, burn the ground. Burn the ground. That's all we gotta do. Okay. Okay, reload, 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 reload fast. Reload fast. Yeah, that's all we gotta do. Watch this, watch this. Ah, okay, if I can chase him. how much you can take. Okay, he ran away. Okay, let's destroy his minions. Pretty easy. I don't know why we can't run right now. Uh. Okay, remember, do not get yourself cornered. Do not get yourself cornered. Okay, switch over to cock and burn. Okay, watch this. Boom! Just burn the ground, burn the ground. Okay, he's, co he's coming somewhere. He's coming somewhere. Where is he at? Oh, right there, right there. Right there. Watch his health, watch his health. I would rather have this guy use that minigun on me than his artillery. Ooh, shit. If this is a, did you enjoy that? Ooh, that is not good. A man could get used to this. Okay, boom. I'm having less fun now. Okay, where's he at? Where's he at? Hostiles inbound! Burn, you shit! Crisp okay. up good! That's good, that's good. That's what we want. Ooh, shoot. Okay, burn the ground. Just burn the ground. Create that barrier. Always create that barrier. That's the great thing about this class is you can create barriers. Okay, it's here somewhere. You say something. Okay, right there. Boom. Burn him. That's I know he's here roasted. somewhere. I know. Faking, mate. Huh? I know he's here somewhere. There it is. Oh, there you go. Got him. Got him. There we okay, see how the fire staggered him? Staggered him. Who here likes guns? You cold? Get some cover. Get some cover. Gotta heal. Gotta heal. Gotta heal. Ooh, snap. Crisp up good. Okay, okay, we got enough caulk and burn here. Okay, that's perfect. Shit! Oh snap, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? You say something? Oh, shoot. Oh, they're coming! They're coming! They're coming! Crap! You faking, mate! Okay, you gotta burn this guy. He's here somewhere, I know it. I might die actually. No, I'm at 98, 100 health. Fine. Okay, here we go. Where's he at? Where's he at? I know he's here somewhere. I gotta utilize my Molotov cocktails. I'm gonna use fire to my advantage here. He's gonna come. Hostile I know present, I... but close. Oh, who's that? There he is. Got him. Got him. Okay, tag him. Visible. Okay. Get distance. Get distance. Get distance. You faking, mate? No more of that. I will not have it. Shit! Oh, you say you're something. driving me ballistic! You're proper cooked, mate! Uh, you did get this in? There it is. And that's why I like the Firebug class as well. Because you can create boundaries, little... Uh, I guess radiuses of fire, if you want to call it that. Watch. This is what I mean, radiuses of fire. You're basically protected under your own flame. Anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, this little little tips and tricks here if you want to play this game a little bit more on your own. Anyway, so yeah, Captain Sly, personal best, all this and that. Just wanted to show you this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's little tutorial and uh, some of my gameplay. I got the audio set up, I got the mic set up uh, pretty much all right this time. You'll be hearing most of my voices, you can hear the background um, FX noises like the gunshots, the flames, and some of the monsters talking, but really hope you liked uh, what you saw today. Anyway, this is Captain Sly, over and out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.